name is Janet Walton and I'm a laundry assistant. I've worked here for just over four years. The main problems we have in the laundry are, what shall we say, alien objects coming from the woods, which shouldn't be there, like false teeth, mobile phones, even sharp instruments like scissors, tweezers, which can do a lot of damage, not just to us personally, but also to the washing machines and dryers. Um, but our main problem is nappies and um, pads that are coming in with the washing and it's all, it all gets full of fluff and it gets everywhere and it's all over the washing so we have to re-wash everything and then down the line obviously we haven't got any laundry coming through because it's all going back for re-wash and the pa people on packing out getting stressed out because and the wards are getting stressed out because they haven't got any linen and we haven't got the linen to give them because most of it is coming in contaminated. I've worked on packing out myself for a few months and it's very frustrating because like I say a lot of it is going back for rewash and sometimes not everybody sends all the linen back to the laundry particularly nightwear. I think I suspect that a lot of the patients are going home in the nightwear and not returning them. Please send all your sheets back because we've spent £50,000 in the past year replacing sheets so please send them back and let it be our decision whether we're going to condemn them or not because more often than not they can be salvaged so please send everything back even if you think it's not worth it please do. Your cotton sheets come through at the calendar which two of us feed in and we have to do 300 each in an hour. There's one person at the back that takes them off, inspects them, and if they're still soiled, put them in rewash as the feeders do. If the feeders notice there's a stain as they're going through, press a button and it comes out automatically. It falls to the floor. We are expected to do 300 each, so that's 600 in one hour. That's if there's no dirty ones as well. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rafiq Master and I'm a laundry assistant. I've been working here in this laundry since last four and four, four years, more than four years. Whenever I work in the washer department, we have to handle lots of cages, which is very full. The cage should be amply full, like, you know, because whenever you try to open that, it just all throws on the floor and which is health and safety risk as well. So somebody could get hurt. So I suggest that, you know, whoever uh, filling the cage, it should be amply full, not too high. Please, please don't overload the uh, cages with extra weight in the bags because it's, it weighs like a bag of cement and we, we use it that 12 bags per two and a half minutes, so which, which makes, you know, um, 15 tons uh, a year, like, you know, so every hour, like 210 bags. I think we get a very good service from our uh, laundry department here. However, I do think that the ward staff could actually help to support our staff in the laundry to improve our service. Um, I think the first thing we could do is actually make sure that our linen bags aren't overfilled because obviously it puts our staff on the ward's backs at, at risk and it also puts the risk of the laundry staff. So our three quarters full should be sufficient so that it can be safely uh, moved off the ward. I also think that we, we actually spend a lot of money on laundry by allowing our patients to be discharged wearing our nightwear and our pyjamas. So again, pre-emptying pre when a patient's being discharged, get the clothes brought in, slippers, shoes, and also an outside coat for warmth in the winter. Um, when soiled laundry comes to our wards, rather than dispose it in the waste, we need to be sending that back to our laundry people so they can look and see if it can be actually cleaned or if they can do repairs on it. Some of the issues we've been having um, in the organisation is damage to our nightwear because our staff are actually cutting up the back of the nightwear to fit our patients more uh, comfortably. Um, if we contact the laundry we can actually get larger sizes uh, and Velcro's uh, nightwear so that can actually be more comfortable for our patients. 